Rob, I'm the drummer. I'm Rory, I play guitar. Chris, I play the bass. I'm Rao, I play the electronics. Yeah, well, I'd say I'd say it's uh, when we swapped onto this bus because we before we were in a, a really small van. Um, it was great for maybe five, four or five people, but there was eight of us um, driving ourselves around across Canada. Really, really long drives. Um, it was really quite difficult, and staying up all night to do the drives. And uh, and the one night that we got this, we were all in a really good mood. Where, where were we? Um, where's the Alamo? Texas? Yes, um, somewhere in Texas. San Antonio. San Antonio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One of the sands. <laughs> one of the sands, yeah. Um, <laughs> and it yeah, it was, it was a gorgeous day. Everything, everyone was in a good mood, excited about the new bus. Um, and after the gig, everyone, like all the other bands, um, went to a bar, really small bar, just over the road from the venue after the gig, and everyone got quite drunk and just had a really good time and it was a really good bonding session I think that was kind of the turn of the tour for me um, so that was definitely one of the most memorable times for me How about the other dudes um, yeah the show last night was probably one of the best crowds we've had in a while um, that's pretty fun where was it again uh, Fort, Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale Fort Lauderdale that's the one yeah um, it was just amazing it's like Everyone was going nuts. It was pretty good, pretty memorable. Yeah, I was going to agree with Rob actually. The uh, the bonding session where we uh, we basically got to really know the other bands. It's always nice, uh, and it took us a lot longer than it probably should, should have done to all go out and uh, have a few drinks together and stuff. So, so that was that was what I was going to say. Yeah, I, I can't really add. They're the kind of three yeah. big big moments. I'm just trying to think of something that isn't just the cliche answer to a new album. Like, it's uh, it's probably our most diverse album. It's our most heaviest. It's our most melodic. It's you know, blah blah blah. Cliche, cliche. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, we're just really excited to hear what, what people think about it. You know, we think it's pretty exciting music. We've pushed ourselves out of our own comfort zones and uh, out of our own boundaries, so, yeah. It was refining it down to one solid album because we had so many ideas, uh, so many like songs or even just riffs or notes here and there or uh, just so many ideas that it was really sort of defining the, the, the solid songs and the one solid album like you know, chipping away all the pieces to find the one real um, block that we were really positive and happy about. There's still like a whole load more that will be ready for next next album. But um, I think yeah, that was we always had the ideas and and the inspiration, so that wasn't a problem for us. It was just yeah, refining it, I guess. America for most of it. Um, I mean, the where yeah, the warehouse where like a lot of our um, our DVDs were stored um, was burnt down. But obviously, we've got like insurance and stuff, um, so we, we we we're not going to be that affected by it. It's a lot, of, but it had a lot of other like smaller record labels uh, merchandise in there as well. So like it could have ruined like a load of record labels. So that's it's quite sad, really. Um, I mean, yeah, well, we were in America for most of it, um, which was kind of frustrating. Like, all this crazy stuff was happening, and we were just like, we're over here. So, we were like, we want to get back home. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm just glad it all sort of was blown over, I guess. We all live just, just outside of London, but I mean, outside your girlfriend's place and outside our manager's house, there was rioters going on around it. I mean, it stretched to like, Lots of different districts in London as well, you know, just mindless violence. So yeah, went on, went on quite a few places. I think it's what happens when, uh, when the kind of societal system that we live in makes a whole sort of group, or I hate using the word, but class of people like hopeless. Uh, they feel completely disconnected from their their community or what's left of their community, and so they just they have no respect for it and will go out and, and trash it and. The worst thing, I think, is, is how it was dealt with. Like, 
um, the, the government sort of treated it as these were the bad apples and let's just look over all the CCTV, pick them out, put them in jail and that will be it, problem solved. But it's not, it's the system that's making these people and making these people act the way they do. So it's, it's not going to go away just by extracting a few bad apples. It's pretty sad. I mean, it was, it was triggered like the very first sort of riot that, that triggered, you know, the, the, the rest of them was triggered by uh, police brutality, which I don't think is, is stopped. Right. I mean, that's still going on. I mean, we're seeing that now uh, increase exponentially with all the o Occupy protests and the police going in and pepper spraying people just sitting in a park. You know, it's just like absolutely outrageous. So in terms of the, the actual London riots that they've sort of calmed down but I think the the causes that you know that made them are still very much there. My like all time favourite bands I'm sure people would be surprised like Radiohead, Coldplay obviously don't really sound uh, that much like us. Um, Oasis. Yeah. I don't mean, really sound much like them these days. We used to play a lot of covers by them. Um, I don't know as well. When if you listen to our music and then the likes we listen to, like the likes of Regina Spector as well, you know, that would probably surprise a few people. Uh, a lot of Motown. Yeah. yeah I've got, I've got I haven't really got. <laughs> Earth, wind, Earth, and wind fire. fire. <laughs> I don't know who would be. I don't know if you'd be that surprised at that though. Um, I've got. Um, so I haven't got that much surprising stuff really, to be honest. Um, Rob, got any? Yeah, no, to, to be honest, none of mine's really that surprising, I guess. <laughs> Other than the fact that I have uh, quite a lot of classical music on my iPod for a, I don't know, for a rock drama. It's not usually the first thing that people would think of having on their iPod. Yeah. But other than that, there's like a lot of dance music, a lot of, uh, yeah, just mostly dance. I've, I've got the whole catalogue of The Temptations. Um, so that's quite surprising yeah. <laughs> yeah kind of already done my dream tour it was with the prodigy around europe um so yeah <laughs> we've already done mine <laughs> um kind of done mine as well um rage against the machine um we, we toured with them around uh uh, Australia, Australia yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, just a bit, but we were part of a festival, so like it wasn't just us and them, but still got to see them like every day. Um, well, I mean, I, I was always really disappointed I never got to see uh, at the drive in play, so both of those, yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, if, if we're forcing people back together, then I'd, I'd force refused back together as well. We only get home a few days before Christmas, so it's going to be some frantic last-minute shopping. Like uh, that's generally a tradition for me. <laughs> Last couple of days before Christmas, yeah. going to do that. Um, then, other than that, I'll just wake up on Christmas Day, have some champagne cocktails, and just eat tons of food and get progressively drunk throughout the day. Yeah, just whenever I think about Christmas, I just think about drink. <laughs> and seeing like old mates and stuff. Christmas tree. I always love having a Christmas tree. <laughs> There's nothing better than walking into a warm house when it's cold outside and like this, the smell of a Christmas tree really fills the house. I always get excited by that and the, that and having all the presents underneath. <laughs> I'm a little kid really, it excites me. <laughs> the only thing I can add to those is going to midnight mass a bit pissed and uh, singing ridiculous harmonies to all the Christmas carols and annoying everyone. Piss doesn't drunk, not, not yeah, yeah, piss isn't drunk. Yeah. As soon as the album's out on January 16th, we are off all over the over the world again. I think we've got plans to go to Australia, uh, some places in Asia. I mean, we're then we'll be back over here in April and May doing a headline tour. Um, and as well, you know, UK and Europe tours as well. So. Thanks for all your support, and um, we're going to keep coming back. So keep coming out to our shows, check our tour dates. Yeah, peace. <laughs>